Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, and especially Status Pro baseball fans. Today, got a uh, video here where I'm going to talk about a new way to play Status Pro baseball uh, that I plan on using going forward, but I want to get your guys' opinions on it. Um, it's something I just thought about as I ordered some other dice on Amazon. Um, in the past games that I've done, the entire game has all been has been done use completely using the fast action deck. And there you can see there's the fast action card deck. And I've got an example. I'm going to set up a little example. I'm going to do maybe an inning or something like that between the 78 Cubs and the 78 Pirates. Uh, using the new method just so you can see it in action. So anyway... Um, now we all know that you can use two D6s to determine whether the pitcher is in charge or not. Um, that is something that's, I think, uh, been widely accepted in the status pro baseball world. But I'm going to take it to a different level and I'm going to use two D10s as well to determine the, um, the random uh, action card um, number instead of using the cards. So, um, now, as you know, the cards, and, you know, we'll look at the batter here, Omar Moreno. You can see Omar Moreno starts at 11, and he um, only goes up to 88. But if you use two D10s, you could get a reading that is lower than 11, and you could also get a reading that is over 88. And in that particular case, I would, um, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I would just, like if it's under 11, I would just assume it's 11. Or, and if it's over 88, I would just assume that it's 88. Uh, or just re-roll it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out whether that would be the, the best approach. Now, there may be some, some, <coughs> Excuse me, there may be something I'm missing here and why that isn't really a good method. It, it, certainly, if there is anything that anybody knows of why that wouldn't be a great idea to do that, um, I would certainly love to uh, know what the reason is. But anyway, so what that'll do is it will allow me to go through this split deck a lot slower. I'm not going to go through, like if you've seen any of my games, you know, I end up going through the split deck um, like two plus times in a game, in a standard game. But that won't happen. Um, I don't think that'll happen if we use this method. So let's get underway. We'll assume that the um, Pirates are batting and uh, you can see the pitcher on the mound is Mike Kruko for the Cubs. Got my fingers shadows in the way there. But he is a PB 2-6, to six, and you use two D6s because there's nobody that's a 12. So we use that. That's a 5. So he is, as we said, he's a 2-6. to six. So it'll be on Kruko's card. And so now what we do is we roll the 10-sided, the 2 uh, 10-sided die. And it comes up as an 87, which is... On the cards, it's on Omar Moreno's card, and it is an out. And for the purposes of just doing this, I'm not going to go through... Um, well, no, I will. You know what? I will. So we know it's an out, and then uh, what we would do is we would go to the... Then we would go to the split deck, and he is... What, what was he? An LN. So we would go to the split deck, and then and only then do we have to look at the split deck reading and it is L3 so that would be a line out to the first baseman and Moreno is out and that's one down so we go to the next batter and the next batter is Bill Robinson and that's a nine and so that isn't on Kruko's card this is on actually on Bill Robinson's card and then we roll the two D10s again, and now what we got is a 72, and a 72 is, falls in the out range, and he's an RN. So then we pick the card, 
and you can see um, all go G4 and then we would check to see if there was uh, an error on the play but we'll assume that there isn't and then we uh, and then we roll the card the dice again we'll say he was just he was out um, and there may be other you know you might have had to pick a card now this is also on Kruko's card it's a two to six so we um, then we roll the two D D tens and uh, you have a 68 these have all been high rolls now hopefully that won't happen in a game I don't think that there's a chance the chances are real high that you'll always get a high roll but anyway um, the next batter is Dave Parker and on a 68 roll he would be out and he's an LP so then we pick a card and uh, LP says GX4 uh, with then checking for an error and then of course you would just pick another card and uh, the air check says 5 to 10 and you know blah 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 from there but anyway you get the idea so I uh, you know I just want to do a real quick video and see what people think about this method and um, because the thing that I'm thinking is that if you use this method you're gonna get truly random numbers uh, if you use the card deck for the random number uh, pull you after you've passed so many numbers or gotten so far through the deck you're not going to have the availability of certain numbers again uh sort of like you do with the split decks in strat um once you if you use the split deck it's one to 20 twice if you pick two ones you can't get another one so it's not truly a random number after you've picked two ones or you know you've after you've gotten so far through the deck and I think it's the same deal here with status pro once you've picked so many random numbers um, like for the example we used here there was a lot of high numbers well if you go if you use the uh, the action deck in status pro and you pick a lot of high numbers high number high number high number pretty soon you're going to run into a, a, a point where you're going to get a lot of low numbers in a row in theory, and I did roll three high numbers for three batters, but in theory, that won't happen if you roll two uh, D10s. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion of that. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think that'll work? How well do you think it'll work? Do you think I should adopt that method? I'm really leaning towards doing it, but I want to get some opinions out there from the... Uh, status pro particularly playing community and see if you think that's good or if you've ever done that yourself if you ever thought of that idea and done it yourself but for right now that's going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off